You won't believe how many times I've heard or seen people ask, how do you memorize a book word for word? Well, in this video, I'm going to explain to you why you never want to memorize a book word for word. Well, with one exception, and that is to push your memory to a whole new level. But besides that, there is no reason to ever memorize a book word for word. But don't get me wrong, there is some information you do need to memorize word for word, verbatim, like quotes, scripture, or poetry. If you're trying to quote someone, you have to repeat the quote word for word. You can't paraphrase or switch out words because you're going to lose the meaning and impact of that quote. But when it comes to a book, there is no reason to do it. It's a complete waste of time and it's useless information. So every time I see someone ask it, I'm like, oh my god, why? Why do you all waste so much time, energy, and effort learning useless information? And especially when it comes to textbooks. People ask all the time, how do I memorize textbooks? And I recently saw someone asking, you know, how to memorize 1,500 pages of a textbook. I'm like, if you try to do that, you're going to be wasting so much time. And at the end of the day, if you even do do it, you'll be like, great. I just waste all that time because I'm not even going to use this information. And so let me show you. This book right here, here, is 864 pages, okay? Now, a textbook is probably this size, this thickness. This person wants to remember 15 or 1,500 pages, okay? A little bit less than double this book. And so that's a lot of words. And I looked it up. An average book has about 100,000 words. A textbook is no average book. It probably has way more than 100,000 words. But let me explain to you why memorizing a book is a complete waste of time. So the main reason is that you're never going to use that information. No one's ever going to be like, hey, memorize this book word for word. Now your test is going to be to recall it. And if you miss one word, you know, if you don't recall it perfectly, you're failing. No one's ever going to do that because it's not even a good use of your time. When you're in school, you don't even go through the whole textbook. You go through the main chapters that the teacher thinks are the most important for you to learn. You never go through a whole book. And I know this is trivial pursuit, uh, a Trivial Pursuit book. I'm just using this as an example. But there's, there's no reason to ever memorize a whole book because you never actually go through it. But this is the biggest thing. And this is something you need to understand. Memorizing a book doesn't mean you understand the material inside it or that you can even apply it. And that's the thing about these people that ask about it. They don't understand what learning is, what comprehending is, what application is. They don't understand it because they think memorizing a book word for word is going to get them to that next level and understanding. It's not. People that want to memorize a book word for word, that just shows parroting. That only shows you can just parrot what the book is saying. That doesn't mean you can apply it. That doesn't mean that you understand it. You can come up with your own ideas and thoughts about it. And that's what makes me really upset when someone tries to memorize a book word for word is that they don't understand what they're doing that's not going to help them if i know if i were to memorize a textbook that i have a chemistry book over there if i were to memorize memorize that word for word that doesn't mean i understand the chemistry organic chemistry it doesn't mean i could apply it i just wasted all that time and so i want to help you understand it you know i want to help everyone understand how to use these memory techniques in a useful manner because I actually made a video about how to memorize a book. And it's not word for word because that's a complete waste of time. I would never you know, want you to actually memorize a book word for word. But in that video, I explained how to memorize a book, but the main points, the main ideas, the different things that you you would want to remember that would actually be useful for you. you no, know, memorize a book word for word. You no, know, it may be a cool party trick, like it may be a cool thing. Like pick that book up any page and I can say, maybe, but. How much time, energy, effort do you have to put into it? How much do you have to invest? But what are you going to get out of it? You're never going to be real to apply it. To review it, it would take you hours. 100,000 words plus? That's going to take a long time. The preparation, getting all the different memory palaces. So if you did a memory palace per page, that book, this book, had 864 pages. You would need 864 memory palaces. Plus, it's for how many locations you need. So it's just an insane amount of work, insane amount of effort to do it, and there's no value in it at all. And so I'm going to include the link down below to my video where I explain how to memorize a book, the useful way how to memorize a book, uh, because that's what I believe you should be you know, going for. Not trying to memorize every single thing because you think it might help you because it won't. Getting the useful points out of a book and being able to remember it, be able to think about it. That's what I want you to do with these techniques. Don't be trying to use these techniques on information. That's not going to help you. Memorizing a book word for word would never help you. There's no purpose to ever do it. 
And the people who would do it, like myself, you have to be crazy like me because, you know, I just want to see, can my memory do it? Can my memory take it? Am I patient enough to do it? That's why I would ever memorize a book, to test my memory, to see, you know, my, the limits of my memory, my patience, my concentration. But you probably aren't crazy enough like me to do something like that. And so please don't memorize a book, Wolf Word. There's no reason to. So hopefully you enjoyed this video, and I'll see you next time. Subscribe to my channel for more videos on memory techniques, how to do better in school, memory challenges, updates, and much more. Also remember to click the notification bell so you know when I upload a video. You can follow me on Facebook and Twitter. The links are down below in the description. You also can check out these videos. If you want to learn all the memory techniques and learn how to apply them to all sorts of information, or if you want to start competing in memory competitions, you can check out my programs down below in the description. Look forward to my next video and get ready to get the best memory of your life.